So we're going to be wiring up a trailer brake controller in the 2003 Suburban. And so I've already got my, uh, well this is the harness for the brake controller. And this is the one from the Suburban. I actually bought, I didn't, normally these, if you get a towing package, your vehicle, your Suburban or truck or whatever you're, Wiring up should come with one of these. Um, at least the GMs of this era did. They come with this, and then they come with the fuse. They're these trucks and SUVs, Tahoe Suburbans, with towing package are pre-wired for uh, the brake controller. So they come with the harness that plugs into the fuse panel, and the fuse that you need. for the trailer brake controller. So, there's the one that came with the vehicle, here's the one that came with the brake controller. We just need to wire these together and don't just trust the colors. Check the wiring diagram. So we've got a wiring diagram here and we've got one here, or right here. So I will match those up, get them wired together. This is fairly long, so I'm gonna cut some of this off because it doesn't need to be near this long. And I'll probably cut some of this one off too, because it's also long. You don't need a bunch of excess wire. And then once we get that wired up, we will uh, we'll have to drill two holes to mount the brake controller. And then we'll just plug this in, and we'll be done. Uh, oh, and we got to put the fuse in. So let me get these wired up. All right. So the. Uh, harness that came with the um, brake controller actually has like a little cross reference chart and it tells you the OEM color on the left and then the brake controller harness colors and um, that brown color is actually the illumination wire and this brake controller doesn't have you know nighttime illumination so that one's not needed so it's just kind of getting down here and I will tape that one up um, and I'll tape all these up I just wanted to show y'all before I taped them up I ended up cutting about half the harness off actually more than half of the OEM harness and about half of the brake controller harness and this seems to be about the right length to get it where I want it it's probably a little extra but uh, better to have a little bit of excess and uh, not enough and so I'm going to really go ahead and detach that. But I got these crimped on. These are really good. Uh, these stake on crimpers made in USA work really good for these. can't really re name anymore, but there's Stakon, S-T-A-K-O-N, Stakon lug. So, I got that all done, I'm going to tape this up, and then we'll need to mount the brake controller. Alright, so here's our completed harness, all taped up nicely. So let's uh, just get in there, and we'll have to route it out of the way, and we'll be ready to mount our controller. Actually, we'll probably mount the controller first. Alright, so I've got it kind of mounted, and here's what I did. I used uh, self-drilling screws, and I ended up, I just used a nut driver to, to drill them into the panel. I um, actually bought this Prodigy, it's Prodigy P2 on eBay, and I was, I bought this Suburban used, and it was missing the, uh, that harness brake controller harness and I bought this Prodigy it was brand new the guy said he had mounted it but never wired it and um, so I got the harness with it that had never been wired up and he included 
he had it mounted in a uh, GM, he included the GM harness also. So I got the GM harness with it that I needed for my Suburban. And I got the original harness for the controller with it also. And neither one of them had the wires been cut or spliced or anything. So brand, both brand new. So it leads me to believe that he was telling the truth that that thing was mounted, but they never wired it up. Um, and he put the screws and everything in a little plastic baggie for me. So, a little tip. I've put my holes in here to where I can see what I can do here. I can slide it over to lift these loose up there. So I can get in here with it. These are uh, Phillips. So I've got a bit on a quarter inch. I can get in there and tighten that screw. So I can tighten both of those down and then slide it over about right there and use a 5 16 to get in here and tighten those up. So I'll end up with it snug up against here like I want. I mean I'm going to leave enough room where I can get in here and get here and I won't go all the way up all the way up against about right there and it gets it up out of the way so it's not going to get into it if I need to quickly reach over for the brakes boom easy access so let me get all that tightened up so there it is tightened and slid over get everything all tightened up worked perfect I can still get in here and activate it in an emergency situation. And I can get to all the adjustments. Perfect. So, take this cover off. It's right up there. It's got this little nut. And the trailer wiring is that one right there. So we we'll plug so we plug that one in. It's all plugged in. And then we're just going to have to route over to there. Alright, so, got that cover back on. And you can see the trailer brake wire coming out. There's a little opening in the top of that cover. Comes out, it comes over this bracket here. Top of it, there it is. Comes along here. Had a little bit of extra excess, so, uh, Doubled it back. Back y'all off a little bit. Doubled it back. Just tie wrapped in those little holes there. And it comes around over here. It's completely up out of the way. And goes into the controller. So, fairly simple. Now we just got to put the uh, fuse in. So remember that little 40 amp fuse? We plug it in to stud one under the hood in the under hood uh, electrical panel. So we've got stud one, which is right here. So we'll pull this little cover off. Take our fuse. All right. I'm just going to take this one, just set it right down in there. It'll just fit loose, that's a blank right there. So we're done there.
we're all done. not connected or something. I don't have a trailer hooked up right now. I guess that LED stays on all the time. I'm gonna have to get the manual online and see what what the little LEDs mean. But we've got it all wired and everything, and we're done. So thanks for watching.